Well, tonight we have proof that dreams can come true even though life can be a tough. You're uh, about to meet a successful woman who's paying it forward by offering help to those who helped her. Here's Susan Hay with Making a Difference. Hello, ladies. Melissa Millett has always had a passion for training dogs. Put the dogs into heel position in a sit. She started out training in competitive obedience as a hobby with her own dog in 1998 and now runs a successful training school in London. All I ever wanted in life was to be a dog trainer and to start to open up my school was a dream that I would never thought imaginable. Today, Melissa volunteers her spare time with her daughter, Sienna, at this women's and family shelter in London, the same shelter that helped get her back on her feet more than 15 years ago. Why did you want to share your story with me at this point in your life? I really want people to know that even if you're going through a rough time in life, that's not where you need to be. Good morning. Hello. Rothal is especially important to me. When I was 17 years old and I was going through a really tough time in life, I stayed here twice for a couple weeks each time. People come to Rothholm from all walks of life. When things have unraveled in their life, we hope to be a small spot in their life where we can have an impact on them. Melissa is certainly one of those examples. Hey, are you ready? Every Sunday morning for the last two years, the residents here can hardly wait to see Melissa's dogs in action. And for Melissa, seeing the smiles on everyone's face is what giving back is all about. Why has giving back been such an important part of your life? After I left Rothholm for a lot of years, I was bartending. I wanted something more. I wanted a real reason to feel good about myself. And that's when I started volunteering. The dogs don't care whether you live in a mansion or whether you live in a shelter. It's just their unconditional love is really important to our residents. I want to come back here and give back and turn this into a full circle experience from trauma to happy, a happy place. Good on her for sharing her story because a lot of people say, you know, I'm down and out and I, 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 I'm just destined to live this way. And she's I want to forget it. Yeah, and she's proof that she, you can help yourself and eventually live that dream that she wanted. Was it tough, though, for her to almost go back? Did she not want to shut that part of her life off and well, say, you know, I, done it? I asked her that very yeah. question, and she was living on the streets in London when she was 17. So it had been more than 15 years, and she said she felt, you know, elated to go back and be privileged to do what she does and put smiles on their faces. And paying for it. Paying, paying forward. forward. Yeah. When Melissa was a little girl, she wasn't allowed to have dogs, only pictures of dogs. Fast forward to her life today, her dogs and her profession, in her words, have helped her to heal. And now her message to her little girl is to learn how to share and to give back. You know, I love that saying, be the change that you want to see in the world, mm. and that's Melissa. And don't give up. I mean, don't give up. Yeah. Follow All right. your dreams. It can be hard sometimes, but if you believe, you'll receive. Look at you. What a well. Anything else I tell in there you, you want to share? Every I, know, day. I know you do. <laughs> and I'm still still not getting it, apparently. <laughs> Thank you, Susan. You will. Always good to see you. Great story. You too. All right, coming up, why our global weather coverage may be getting you the hook. Oh.